Good afternoon, Free Enterprise fans. Uh, today, we are rock and roll with Wacky Races, Back from the Dead. Uh, today is the Afflicted Flag set. I'm Scarcerer. Joining us on the restream is Alchemy. Running tracking is Neruliana. And joining me in the comms with is Falgren. How are you doing, Falgren? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. Uh, very excited to see what this Wacky Race is going to bring us today. Um, and really seeing how the runners handle it yeah i'm i'm i am wondering how many heal potions each of them will have at the end of this or or if either of them will cave in and go buy more yeah it'll definitely be interesting to see uh for those of you at home who have who don't really know quite how this ailment seed works uh at the start of every battle the party will be afflicted with a random ailment. Everything from poison to blink to wall to curse. Uh, they go away at the end of the battle, fortunately. And you have no equipment immunity to it. So it's going to be a balance of how well uh, you can manage with, well, whatever RNG decides to throw at you. And hi, I'm Alchemy, I'm the streamer too, and I made this flag set with the idea of, like, the least heal potions you use, the better, the faster you go. So that's, so that's the idea. And here we have 90 HP in a dream. This is gonna be great. Oh, starting Sand Ruby. Dang. <laughs> dream dead. I don't know, there could be a Tella. Um, and a Tracker. Tella would be more HP than everyone else. That's very true. But this would be the prime party to get Berserk every fight in a row now. Yeah, I'm going to predict at least one character will be paralyzed in the first fight, and it's going to be whoever's from the Sand Ruby. At a minimum, they're each going to take an objective off in the first minute or so. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, with the Sand Ruby A, you're getting a character that will supplement your uh, wonderful choice of first and second. And like you said, you know, early objectives are never a bad thing. Especially when it's a foo in the bed. Foo in the bed, but we need some uh, bosses to kill for those spells. And again, he's going to be paralyzed. The Warlink has uh, proven me wrong and gone immediately for Watery Pass. It's T-Pro Max Tier 6, which is good for the Watery play. Yeah, never a bad idea to see uh, what you're going to have to work with. Um, you know, depending on who's in the bed, if you end up with some decent heavy gear, uh, especially if you don't know who's in there, never a, uh, <clears throat> never a bad check to start with. And I think uh, that exit Warlink looted has uh, driven him deeper into the Watery Pass. I think this is the deepest I've seen anyone go in a race in Watery. But he has an exit. He'll be fine. Yeah, definitely a, 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 a different play than you usually see. But like you said, with that exit in hand, you know, you can go all the way to the end and it's not a big deal at all. Ooh, pink tail from Bedward. We're looking. We're on. We have our eyes out for a hook because adamant armors do appear to be on. And that's definitely a uh, a welcome <laughs> addition to a party, especially when you're starting off with one that's um, not exactly heavy in the defense department for sure. Oh, it looks like we started with five exits from our kits. We see we had the uh, Mycidia loaded in basic kits. It looks like Tybalt picked up an early Sylph on Rydia, which will definitely help you out with some of those early bosses. Um, you know, um, status conditions with not with coming. Ooh, and there's a Grimoire. I see that should be able to blow through a boss. 
So, do you think that it's it's just like cold season? Everyone's like it's like like sneezing a little bit, and and that's why it's like all afflicted and stuff. Yeah, I think Fu maybe brought a bug down from the moon. Oh, you covered some prokaryotes. I mean, as somebody who does work with children, uh, it does tend to rip through everybody like wildfire. So this this kind of definitely uh, checks out as far as I'm concerned. Maybe it, it wasn't for soya, but like Rydia, they want the, <laughs> that has the, the flu or whatever, or like the cold. I mean, little kids, they don't have the, the personal space that you usually get, so definitely uh, can see that for sure. <clears throat> and so far, uh, definitely not looking like it's hindering uh, Warlink through that first fight. I mean, sometimes you get lucky, right? Because because some of the statuses that you can get are just like wall, re like, like reflect. I think Blink too is one of them. You can also get Berserk, which is nice if you have a physical fighter, but if it happens that your caster is like, well, here I am. And I don't think, uh, you know, heal cures Berserk. You need to have like a silver stuff for Basuna or something silly like that. <laughs> or to bonk them down on the floor too. Well, Speaking of silver staff, that foo did start with one. So our, uh, so long as it's not foo that gets berserked, we should be rock and roll to clear berserk. And uh, Tybalt showing us once again. We have another caster. Speaking of Tella from earlier, oh no, <laughs> sitting on top of Hobbs with a Ogo Pogo. Uh, we have a nope rope. Did you see that Ogo will? <laughs> Ogo will um. Still counter healing spells. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> That's the this is this is this is. A, uh, hopefully, Tibalt knows how the afflicted works, because whichever it just the the game just kind of remembers what statuses it's supposed to give you um, for that fight in the particular slot. So you could fix that just by moving food to a different slot. Shouldn't be terrible. Right, but it it back to having to re-clear this evil wall, which is a little yeah. annoying. Yeah, definitely not what you want to see, um, especially when you're having to deal with the petrify from the evil wall on top of the other elements that you're dealing with. Yeah, I'm surprised Tybalt didn't just chuck a Grimoire again. That It worked for him last time. It would work for him again. Maybe thinking to save it for the uh, Ogo try to get him down in as least turns as possible. Yeah, and get <laughs> blazed to death. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> because the uh, Grimoire cast, while it isn't a summon, it's still a spell. Poco Poco is just, like, not very fun in general, really. Ogo, Ogo means business. <laughs> in what language? All of them. Fair enough. Well, I, I should, I should, I should, I should say that he intends business. And Warlink seeing the nope rope and deciding that Tella is definitely not worth the the aggravation. Yeah, an upgraded Tella at a for a Ogo, maybe not. It looks like we have Karate hanging out in the sand underneath the Antlion Cave. And food charmed again. Jeez. Wow, it, it just doesn't stop, huh? I, I mean, I mean, I, I get it. Like, you're old, but come on, dude. You can do better than this. I mean, in Fu's defense, I wouldn't want to be in the party with Edward either. Oh man, the dude is trying his best. Unlike Fusoya, might I add? <laughs> Yo, 400 roll from the Dancing Dagger. This is the uh, one in a million day <laughs> where Edward's better DPS than Fu. Yeah, it's always nice to see an early Fu, however, uh, with how Fu works, <clears throat> he does not come with his full kit. You have to slowly gain it over 
boss fights uh, along with the HP and the magma key at the end of this is definitely something you would like to see. Okay. Seeing them go into the fight with uh, different party configure like different slot configurations, it is that character gets the statuses every time, which is interesting. Because if you notice, it would, they got the same setup. Oh, weird. Yeah, huh? It'll definitely be interesting to see, especially when you see that Fu start to get more and more powerful spells. Um, you know, right now, seeing him charmed, not a big deal. But in the later fight, if that comes up again, and he has something like Nuke, you might be in a little bit more trouble. Can Quake your own party? Or no, because Quake yeah. doesn't target. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Dangerous. Quake, Meteo, I, I like it's it's a you know it's a legend of getting charmed and then quaking the party. And like it, while charmed, I don't think he he has like cast times, right? He just like pops you in the head with Meteo, right? I'm I'm pretty sure I have never been unfortunate enough to get <laughs> charm quaked or charm nuked or charm meteoed. So I uh, don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I very fortunately have avoided that fate as well. So, like, having Fusoya in your party is kind of like liability, too, in a way, don't you think? Like, yeah, sure. Old man strong, like, throws rocks on your head, but also make throw rocks on your own head <laughs> in this black flip. It's, it's the classic Dungeon Master out. Uh, rocks fall, everyone dies. Easy peasy. And that's something with this flag set, you know, eventually if you get somebody like a Cecil or an Edge, you know, it's great. But there's always going to be that thought in the back of your mind of how is this flag set going to turn that against me? Looks like Tybalt's taking a quick peek at what the Dwarf Cave has for us. And not much, so we're just going to nope. get out of here. Is he going to take the fight? No, he's leaving. <laughs> Tibalt may be a gambler, but uh, he's not just going to throw, throw time away like that, usually. Yeah, especially with a party like this, there's no no reason to put yourself through that. And we're heading on down. Let's see what Fame March has in store for us. You always like to see the pan when you're already underground. Especially when you haven't gone to Fabul yet. This is going to feel great for both of our runners, fading Fabul. There's nothing quite like doing everything underground, talking to Young, getting back up on stairs, or up, <laughs> upstairs, up in the overworld, and having Sheila like, here, I'm going to decide to be vanilla. So I think, uh, I think our, um, <laughs> I think our runners might end up fading the same objective. Because if I caught correctly, that is Valvalis at the King of Monsters spot. Oh, yeah, no. I I would have to be very desperate to have to to want to attempt that. So like if if you enter Valvales, uh, like the fight, is it always going to be the same status effects every time or or maybe or if you have, you know, an encounter between attempts, does it like reroll? Right? It's like perfect. So it, it looked like it was the same status ailments on the on the same fights, on the same characters. Yeah, so it'll be the same every time. So you can like go in, peek what your final part you know, once you've got your party, go there, peek what shenanigans you'll have to deal with and ooh, that's a little life and orb for sale on the Fame March. Uh Tybalt did not check that. 
we see that uh, Whirling's selling the farm for that, trying to get money from the Ether ones, and oh, being absolutely. reminded it's just it just works like that. Good to be hands down the most damage we're going to have on this party so far. But that's actually a good question. Do you, uh, do you take the time? Because usually, you know, if it's there's a question about what the boss is in the Fey March, do you take it? But now do you take it to check what status ailments you end up with? I would, personally. But, you know, I, I don't win many tournaments. <laughs> uh, I think if you've got your save scum set up and you're going to just, you know, leave out of it anyways, it might be worthwhile, but neither of our runners has a full party so there wouldn't be enough information gained like i don't think either of them is gonna hold on to edward into the late game it's he's i love edward but um he doesn't he doesn't got the hp for this he's squishy he's a he's a musician he's a poet he ain't buff no no no, buff no. music man here he's he's delicate yeah, we won't be seeing Shredward much in here. Um, and until we get a few more bosses under our belts, uh, Fusuya is going to be essentially kind of dead weight um, outside of a decent HP total. Hey, R Rio is, is fine on that one. Weird. It, it might be Reflect or that's... something. Yeah, that's either Wall or Berserk. We'll see if she gets a turn or if she takes it on her own. Oh, never mind. Or she just takes a punch to the face because Tybalt can't be bothered to throw her in the back row. Probably because he knows that she'll be useless until she, she has some... Or maybe he's just letting her die on purpose for a uh, anchor later. I don't know. Could be. He also did miss that Leviathan in the Fey March, so I have a feeling Warlink will be a little bit more inclined to make sure Rydia stays up. So like, like, what do we think? Was it like 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 Rydia's child uh, immune system that, that that made everyone get afflicted, or was it uh, Fusoya's lunar uh, bugs? Maybe maybe we can do a poll in chat, <laughs> see see what folks think. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm biased. I work with young kids, so I mean, they're play carriers on the best days. Warlink making his way up, popping that Leviathan. Something interesting about the uh, Calbrana fight. If the back ones are toted, they'll still try to turn into Calbrana, but because they're toads, it'll fail. And it'll just spam that over and over again. And Warlink's got a tiara from somewhere. That's very nice. Yeah, especially with that Leviathan. But yeah, uh, the Calcabrina fight definitely is one of those. Ooh, Earth Crystal from Fabul. Um, it's definitely one of those fights that, until you ran Free Enterprise, you never quite understood the little quirks with it. Uh, the back row, not having the boss bit, so you can stop them, you can tow them, you can do all sorts of fun things to them. Well, I mean, in vanilla, well, in the US version of vanilla, you can't do any of that to them, because you don't have a black mage in the party, and you don't have the um, items exclusive to the Japanese version, the hourglasses and such. That is very true. I always forget about that. And also something you don't see in the U.S. version because of the Japanese items being dummied out is that the big doll actually has counters to the elemental damage. Because in the Japanese version, you can throw firebombs and uh, Boreas and blizzards and such at it. And this, in the U.S. version, nothing. All right. Looks like Tybalt is going to start making his way up ordeals. Uh, taking a save outside the mountain just in case there's, you know, it's a bust. You don't want to waste all the time. And there it is. 
the uh, elemental damage counters. Yeah, why not? I made a poll in chat, everyone, waiting in your opinion. Well, Pale Dim giving us a, a lovely array of status ailments. Um, not really going to get a chance to play us the song of his people so far. Looks like we might not be getting any dudes on Tybalt's side. This will be a bit of a slow fight with just a Dancing Dagger, but it'll also be a bit of a um, guaranteed one. We hit Pale Limb for 180 in this house. Oh, Pan required. Or Sheila required. She Sheila 1 had objective item, the Pan had an objective item. That was the uh, package and the twin harp for Warlink. There you go. You definitely like seeing and probably for Tibble, Sheila. Assuming he remembered. I saw him up in Sheila's room. I, I'm pretty confident he did it. Yeah, he's got them marked on his stream. Both runners now making their way up to ordeals. Uh, if I had to be a guessing man, I'm going to say that Warlink is going to catch up pretty quickly here with Leviathan. Yeah, and <sighs> Tibalt is fast anchored for this back attack. Uh, usually it doesn't matter, but with one slow old man casting Ice 3 versus a Probably RA4. What, do you know the agility at this spot? Uh, not off the top of my head, unfortunately. I've got a spreadsheet somewhere I can check. Or, like, deciding to throw some of those heals that he has on hand to get rid of the confusion and the mini. And we're going to see Leviathan come on out. Okay, the uh, speed of this spot is, is 9. So it's going to be... Uh... So Fu should be getting more turns, so long as he's just hitting and not using spells with massive delays. I mean, it being three party members maybe makes it like harder something. Yeah, true. That and uh, Pale having a wonderful Quake counter to summons. If this Leviathan doesn't... Uh, uh, this should be fine. Fu has 800 hit points. I don't know how much Quake will do here. Yeah, he already survived one Quake. It wasn't that bad. Alright. I'm kind of surprised that they haven't gone up, uh, you know, up sod for, for more characters before going here, even, considering their character situation. Well, their character situation is pretty much Fusoya, and you want spells on Fusoya to be able to clear, um, Zot. It makes sense to come up here. 
yeah, you get the three bosses, plus if you end up with a Cecil up on Zat, this saves you the trouble later. But Silence this... on Rydia. I think this might be where uh, Warlink makes up a ton of time, because that Leviathan is just gonna... I don't think it'll do the trick entirely, because there's a little bit of magic defense here, but... Bygen doesn't throw up a wall against summons, because it doesn't have, you know, a call reaction in its script. Plus, even if it did, Leviathan doesn't give or doesn't really care about wall. So you're not yeah. relying relying solely on Fu trying to beat him to death with a staff. Yeah, I was thinking more along the vein of um you know, you get the Leviathan off first, and then throw an Ice 3 with Fu, or vice versa. That's fair, uh, but Leviathan still doing the jab on the main body, and now hopefully the explodes go smoothly. Not a lot of HP here, I think, if these both hit Fu. Unfortunate that it hits Rydia there, but only a little bit of XP lost. No experience allowed. Oh, the heal spell is just replaced with dot 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 for foo. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I was just about to ask my uh, my stream bug out, but that makes sense. It's like almost Aptco, but not quite. So yes, ladies and gentlemen of chat, do not adjust your monitors. Everything is fine. It just works. It just works. Wait, it works? Yeah, it just works. Eh, makes sense. Definitely works uh, harder than this plague does. <laughs> what, a, what a garbage plague this is. Poor guy. Oh, uh, it's not oh, it'll awful. Be fine. Poor thing. We're, we're anchoring with Edward, which is... Interesting. He's sort of at these lower levels. He's not terrible. Fu will still outspeed, but if Warlink uh, forgoes any uh, anchoring considerations, or maybe just trying to spike a curse string, it, it is S standard. I do think curse strings are on if I saw correctly. I think they are. Kerstring would be useful. That's like and there's almost uh, vanilla. almost yeah, you know a little bit of vanilla never hit anyone. Yes, yeah. curse rings are on. Hey, pain night action. <laughs> a, 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 a swag heal potion toss. I mean, you gotta be in your best condition to hear about justice. And yeah, it oh, looks yeah. like uh, Warlink is definitely hunting for a curse ring. No, French vanilla guards. You were uh, closer than you thought when you said it was almost vanilla. This is this is spooky. This is a this is. Oh no, it's not white. That quake should be fine. Alchemy, what type of seed did you roll? A seed. It, it, it is the seed of all time. It's a seed that just works. It is spoon on. Spoon on. Spoon. Spoon's on. That Edward is uh, now a useful character. Yeah. We love when Edward. Well, now he's more useful than Dancing Dagger. And that spoon brings us to a nice 255. Fun. Yeah, he can almost hit as hard as Defense Sword Kane. Wow, it's a miracle. Plus, you get a Yang, too. Somebody who eventually can take more than a slight breeze of a hit. Maybe he will just be able to take a slight breeze of a hit if he becomes the anchor. Rosa. Oh. A little white mage. 
first white mage. Maybe this will make him go up Zot? Wait, no, this would not make them go up Zot. We have an exit caster. Who's Soya? Well, Zot's an opportunity to uh, dump Eddie from the party if you're going for casters overall, because this is three casters we've seen. Oh, I guess Tell is in the seat too. He kind of qualifies as a caster. He qualifies yeah, yeah. as a white mage for the uh, safety checks. I'm personally hoping we're going to get Harp at some point. Well, I'm hoping they go with soon, because they both have it. And it's an objective. And we've seen how bad the King of Monsters is. Yes. Uh, the only hesitation <laughs> the only hesitation I would see would be just because of the party composition. Uh, the, the Dark Elf spot has a dumb amount of Magic defense. Yep, gets set to 254. Uh, fortunately, Leviathan has a spell power greater than 254 and thus <laughs> uh, doesn't care about your magic defense. I mean, it's oh, still yeah, lower, just right? sliding in. Oh, yeah, it still reduces the damage uh, significantly, but it still does damage, unlike certain other spells you might be tempted to cast. Uh, today we're snoozing at mist. I mean, when you're sick, what I you want to do turtle. is take a nice nap. A nice long nap, rest yeah. up, let your body do what it's supposed to do. Nice nap sounds fun, actually. Alright. Plus two now, we're starting to get to the point where the, the foos are starting to become a little bit more powerful. Uh... Getting up to 1400 HP on Tybalt's side after that boss fight. Trust me, that Edward will be useful if you get him to level 70. Well, unfortunately, uh, level 70 is far beyond what you need for Sprouts. And thus, our runners will likely not get there, especially not for Edward. Oh, he'll be gone out of the party if they do Zot, hopefully. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. Tybalt gonna be a hopefully. man of the people. He's going we to give us our music. Chocobo. I mean, with 13 character checks, we have one duplicate, and the duplicate could be Edward and could be in Zot. <laughs> <laughs> it very well could be. It'd be funny. It would be extremely funny to see how many fights in a row you could Zerk glitch the spoon. Hmm. That does sound fun, actually. I don't think I've ever seen Keinazo in the in spot. I just like the sprite slide. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he would slide too. Like 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 a Mario Brothers Koopa. Just sliding along on the shell. He's just sliding up to come take Rosa. He ain't taking Rosa. Oh, and that's why he overthrows the King of Baron, so he can be King Koopa for a little bit. <laughs> King Koopa. <laughs> that that'd be funny. We're getting our service with music from Tybalt. Isn't that fun? Oh, wow. Two oh, wow. That's, oh, that's some hey. huge that's charms. Some Two berserks. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. No one, like, like, what a way, like, like you gotta bring your party paralyzed to this, to this fight, like, like, with the metallic items, otherwise this happens. And 
Oh, hey, the wall. Someone has wall. <laughs> and he was wall. This is funny. Oh, this is, this is I'm glad. <laughs> so my question is going to be: Is it going to be a next a different set of uh, status ailments for the next phase, or is it going to be the same? Uh, I believe it'll be different because they're different fights in the uh, code. Is All that right. a Troy treasury and... I see over with Warlink? And with that said, Edward is going to start making his way over to his harp. And with that said, we are going to mute and let you guys have at it.
And it looks like uh, one <laughs> demis fight. One of these went lost. One. Than the other. One demis fight went to another demis fight, and Luca Key. I mean, when you have uh, when you have such a, a a banger of a song for the harp, it really just let it go. Just keep letting it go. Yeah, the yeah. first time I got this song, I went I went and looked it up, and they had no business going this hard on, you know, what was basically shovelware of the time. Team Foley moment. All right, and it looks yeah. like our racers are going to start heading up Zot. Two new characters, or maybe a dupe. I wonder what we'll find. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm I'm saying dupe Edward and Pal. Hmm, interesting. So I also wanted to point out that in, on, on World Link's, World Link's uh, stream, um, his characters were charmed, but also um, like uh, magnetized. So, uh, but they were still taking actions and buffing the party and stuff, which was absolutely wild to see. <laughs> that was a very quick fight for Tybalt. Yeah, fortunately, uh, Dark Imps a set of bosses that do not have the boss bit on, so very, very vulnerable to any coffins you might have, uh, stone, as we saw. And getting a peek at Ashura, going to be in the Golbez spot at the Dwarf Temple, or Dwarf Castle. Uh, there was a rune axe in the treasury, so maybe we get someone who can equip that. Make that a uh, trivial fight? <laughs> Nonsense. We already have one of the twins. Let's see. I think that's a porum. Oh, that's and an edge. An edge. I'd be uh, somebody an edge. has a mute knife. This is great. I think Tybalt picked up a mute knife in Dwarf Castle. Oh, and there he goes. Tybalt saying no to the edge. Shame. Wonder how that'll work out for him. Uh, looks like he's just going to go for full reflex strats at this point. Doctor Luggage? I mean, Who would have known? Strats if the game lets you. <laughs> yeah, oh. uh, we've got a silver staff in our complimentary stack of heal potions. This should be alright. Only in the complimentary stack. Alright, and Warlink through really making up the time uh, that, especially with that Demis fight being that much quicker with that Leviathan. Yeah. Did he even cast Leviathan in the Demis fight, or did he just get better luck with Eddie? I think there was one cast, but Eddie was swinging for the fences. And Eddie was swinging for a lot more than uh, Tybalt's Edward was. I've seen like 700, 800 from Tybalt's and 1,700 from Warlinks. I don't know what the difference in their gear is, but it should be. <laughs> oh, it counts each of the <laughs> counts each of the fights in the Doctor Luggage fight as a different fight. We like all right. Here. You know, and Warlink like saying it. goodbye to um, Young. Hi, Yong. Nice seeing you, but no more. Ah, uh, but we have uh, weapons of mass destruction, so this should be cleared with that. 
Man, I love weapons of mass destruction and free enterprise. Plus, now it looks like everybody's foos have nuke as well, so this should be relatively. Oh, Spoonward with a Spoonward confused, so That's hopefully. Dangerous. <laughs> it's not good. Hide, hide your casters, hide your melee, because uh, hide every angry bard. Like, like Edward has had enough. <laughs> He's gonna show you who's the spoony bard. There's Ooh, the hook. There's the hook. That's uh, gonna be another objective on the board for Tybalt and for Warling once he gets through, and it's gonna be Adam and armor in both of their pockets. Uh, this puts both of our runners in Darkness Crystal Go mode. I wonder where the Darkness Crystal will be. Where well, I... given, given, it's somewhere. It's. I'm thinking it's going to be from the Rat Tail. Rat Tail, or it's going to be uh, Lower Babel. I think yeah, it'd be on... funny if it were in Baron. If it can't even be in Baron. Um, oh, is that just all we're down to with just K-Main? I believe so. Oh, no, this is in Dwarf Castle, and they have the Luka Key. And I think oh, yeah, the warp yeah, yeah. Is on, and, and the warp glitch is on, so they can just go get two key items at Baron. Oh, the charmed stop nearly making this uh, a big problem. Here's our first Adam and Armor of the Seed. We were talking about like Charm Media and Charm Quake with Charm Stop, huh? Oh, so we got a tower key, so definitely a little bit more incentive for Babel because you don't need to do a double, du double dip if you don't need to. I think we're going to have Vanilla Darkness. It's going to be on the Sealed Cave podium. Nah, it'd be more fun if it was somewhere obscure. I like obscure. It's funny. Oh, Tybalt's trying to set up a uh, MP glitch, which I didn't notice was on until just now. <laughs> I love MP, MP glitch. I love putting it on flag sets. It's funky as heck. Oh, looks like he got it. Yeah, especially if you have a fully powered Fu, no reason not to if it's on. Speaking of MP, would you gotta like, give all that Fu? So it is standard no J, and um, Warlink might go for Sirens because he kept the edge, but it's off the table for Tipbolt unless he goes back to Mycidia to get edge. I think we're going to see some uh, mechanical dragons wiped on Tipbolt's side. Off the dragons. He might also go for 1200 strats, or you know, like Foo and Friends. I would imagine. 1200 would be the, the goal. Especially, too, if you're Tybalt after that, uh, like, Demas fight, I would, you know, I would be feeling behind. Looks like we got Warlink going to go check out Cave Eblin. I mean, he might be uh, leaning towards a Berserk party, and if this is Cecil, he'll have hit big. And oh, checking the shop. about something. Probably thinking about those elixirs. Elixirs are nice to have. Keeping keeping the random walls in mind. 
a Sid on Tybalt's that is ultimately thrown away. Yeah, it's tough. As much as you want to see more melee focus, and like we said, Tybalt is definitely looking like now he's committed to reflect strats. Uh, Tybalt's, um, Palum got the, uh, I thought that was either armor or the Moonveil effect with barrier. Oh, Porum. A Porum's nice to have, but we don't want it. We already have Rosa. She has exit. Yeah, very hard to justify taking out food. a Porum for sure at this point. I mean, the justification is another mage for reflex strats over the Yang, but. Warlink chose Edge. Jang is a potions mage. That's very true. He does end up doing uh, uh Spoonward is looks like we're just gonna let Spoonward carry the day. Spoonward wearing adamant. Haven't seen that in a while. Haven't seen that before. I guess we have to make sure he's powerful. You just have to make sure he uh, can live a punch. A legend sword. Interesting. Oh. And back row glitches off, so you gotta leave your Edward in the front row. Sorry, Eddie. But you have to stay in the front. That's right. That adamant armor will definitely go a long way to <coughs> easing some yeah. of that. There's our Baron key. Baron and Luca, a tale as old as time. Oh, looks like we're going to hit both of our tower checks while we're here before we do anything else. So, like, no one is gonna do the last objective, right? Like, everyone's gonna fade it, right? <laughs> That's what's happening here. You never know. Um... It seems likely, though. Depends what's at the Mara Altar, I think. Yeah. Or at Bahama. How Bahama's a punchy spot. Be there? It would have to be something like... If I saw Gulbez at the Mara spot, I would definitely start considering... Doing the Val. I think I like looked away for a second. Did Warlink get that tower key? Or am I, am I crazy? Yes. Uh, he did trade away the rat tail, so he's got the tower key. Oh yeah, that's right. I blinked for a minute, but it's okay. It's a chill day. It's a beautiful chill stream. Neither runner taking the Sid. Sad. It'll be fine. It's just a Sid. Not to Elven. But we're not gonna worry about that. Fabul Gauntlet. Well, that's... This isn't terrible. This is, um... A very virusable gauntlet. Assuming you don't get muted for one of the fights. What did you very mean? true. This isn't terrible. This is very bad. <laughs> I mean, as far as any fight you want to get in the tower, this is definitely the last one you want, just yeah. based on sheer time. I mean, as far as... <laughs> There's a thing I told you. It's like five or six chances for everything to go wrong. But it's more occupying good... for us. And that's a good point, though, because with the gauntlet, every fight is going to have a different set. There is nothing you can be ready for. I'm like, the fights, the, like, the random encounters here at the tower are way worse than anything that could be in this spot. Oh yeah, I was saying that more thinking about where other spots where the gauntlet could be. <laughs> Very true. We are deprived of oh, we found gauntlet. We were also deprived of a cave value gauntlet. That would have been interesting.
Oh. We can I'm like, what is that foo doing? He's berserked. That's great. He's just going. He's trying his best. I, I was like, wait, he's out of MP, and then I'm like, I remembered that Tybalt did the MP glitch. Nope. Oh, and he's got a um power staff on, so he's also berserking <laughs> the enemies. <laughs> this this is um the best. this fuck is the best. This is an excellent time for Tybalt to go and grab a drink, I would say. Honestly, yeah. I agree. Angry it's controller down, you can go get some snacks. Angry old man, angry at, at, at black lizards. And he did! <laughs> I was gonna say, I think he actually did it. Good job! That foo really put in some work today. Oh, oh okay. That would have been a bad fight to be berserked for. What fight? Uh, the <laughs> tofu's at the end of the gauntlet. Oh, no, no, I do mean what fight. It's gone now. And Warlink uh, doing the top happy. tower first. Going for the top-down approach to the Tower of Babel. Usually something we see reserved for the moon, but... It's a free country. A free enterprise, even. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'll, I'll see myself out. I don't know. I have to... Uh, oh. I typically follow Warlink's path. There's, there's something wrong with going cannon first, as far as I'm concerned. What do you mean, there's something wrong? <laughs> no one's gonna arrest you. Yeah, it's oh no, like, it's illegal. We've already seen Ogo Poco. Uh, I, maybe we've seen Leviathan. There's nothing there that can hurt us, right? Cue the gauntlet. I mean, they didn't necessarily hurt. Stop. It was just slow. <laughs> and, well, let's see what these Mega Sisters are gonna be all about. Oh, Tibble is the top. Tibble is doing the Penguinator. Fading the top of tower, just doing the tower key. We don't need no uh -oh. like Maga Sisters fights. Well, one of these two items is the might be has a good chance of being the darkness crystal. There's the, the pass. pass. So if Tybalt is doing he reset out. I think wow. he realized that the Mega Sisters are gonna be the play. Did he um, save before or after to the gauntlet, though? He saved. I think he went back and saved before he uh, went out the tower. I think so, too. What a big ring okay, this is... Means I mark the pass off. Don't worry, I'm doing my job. Trying to. Adamant. Well, too uh, bad Super we don't Smith have to forge today. I'm saying Thorhammer, because they both said no to Sid. Yeah, punishment. <laughs> It'd be a funny punishment. Like, like Thor Hammer is even better than like scrap metal or something. It's, it's, it's like even better. <laughs> but also, look at that. This is going to be a 17 of 17 seed. If hey, we love 17 17 seeds. If you get a uh, Thor Hammer or like a Fiery Hammer, Go back and grab Sid. Well, yes, but also no, because I would have just taken the Sid in the first place. As I say, with this party at this point, yeah. Fair enough. I have a I, ha I would I would have a rune axe. That's enough for Sid. <laughs> That's enough for Sid to out damage uh, Young at least. Pretty easy to out damage Young. I think. It's kind of hard to out HP him, but Sid manages that too. Truly, is the goat of Free Enterprise. I know, right? I think if you call <laughs> Sid a goat in front of him, or like the goat, he will actually just like make goat noises at you and then laugh pretty hard. <laughs> or he'd punch you That'd in the face. Funny. You'd either take it as you'd either know it was a compliment or take it as a grievous insult. I, I think he's a pretty mellow. There's fellow. no in between. 
He's not. <laughs> Are we talking about the same Sid who threw himself okay, okay, off okay. an airship with a bomb? So, sorry, maybe Melee was not yeah. that I just think like he's like really like easy going. Sid is. You know, like... Yeah, yeah, playful, but he definitely has a temper. Oh yes, sure, fair enough. Yeah, he does have a temper. He should have died like three times. Yeah, but he didn't. Uh, local engineer, too angry to die. <laughs> Literally too angry to die. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. I mean, I mean, that's just how he's he like a cockroach. Through, you can't right? kill. Him. Shoutouts to any engineers in chat. <laughs> Sometimes you're just too stubborn to die. Be like Sid. Be stubborn. Alright, so we have the admin. So what's the last check that we're missing? Baron key, right? Yep, just Baron key. Yeah. Does that mean that darkness is behind Baron? Yep, it has to be at this it point. Has to be. They've done everything no. else. It, it was, I just think it'd be occupying. Sometimes it's fun to have to do Baron Castle. Sometimes it's not. Most at this time. point, I'd say most at this point in the run too, it's not going to be uh, too too tricky. Who's that uh, bacon spot? I don't know. We don't have any bosses. Oh, I, I didn't believe... check that. <laughs> I don't I... remember who it was. <laughs> I barely pay attention to that when I'm actually running. I Maybe actually... it was a sparkle. I don't think it was a sparkle. I wonder... I don't remember what it was. I should, though. Which Bad. means it's, um... Wyvern. Sparkle, yeah, it's yeah, Wyvern, and Wyvern's yeah. fun. That's absolutely couldn't be a fun guy. Be a, I'd say it couldn't be a Wyvern then. Hmm, why can't it be Wyvern? It has to be Wyvern. If it was a Sparkle. Yeah, if it was a Sparkle, it's Wyvern. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've, se we've seen Ogo. We've seen... D lunars. Oh no, I should remember I should remember these. Right? Uh is Seraphim the wall staff? No, that would be the Nirvana. Seraphing is just like a lifestyle. Seraphim is heal. Oh well that's actually really awesome. Another ah. heal staff. <laughs> that's an actual but, like But that's, that's really but it's funny. the heal spell. That's, that's really funny. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good point. It, it, it's the he it casts heal, which our runners are not allowed to do. Uh, I mean, well, you know what that means. Item. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm willing to be lax on this about it, but I guess the runners don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> the runners might not know that the Seraphim staff casts wall or casts heal. Yeah, They'll so watch this back on playback and be like, no. <laughs> They don't need heal, they have heal potions. Yeah, that's the other thing. I didn't want the racers to be miserable, so I gave them heal potions. It's also a, as like a weird meta meta gaming skill test. Just so they weren't screaming and crying over the fact that, oh no, I can't cast spells on my foo. Yes, except they will be screaming at me. <laughs> I mean, Oh, did, did Warlink wipe? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, oh that's you, sad. The, the it's Wyvern. Say hello to this beautiful Wyvern. All right, Hopefully let's see what he's gonna do. It. He's gonna sit there. Nah, Tipball got it off too quick. New fat Wyvern. It's well, on. we will not be seeing which burn it is today. I don't think it's that important. I don't even think which burn's on. Which burn is on? Mm -hmm. I mean... And here's a water hag. That's a nice free. Have we seen Antlion? Antlion was. No. Yes, we did. They reset out of. Where was it? 
hook route. Oh, it's on the hook route. I remember now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this is gross. Tibalt's run around with a mostly dead party <laughs> and got charmed. No, no, foo. It's three hits on Water Hag, not on the party. No, no, foo. It's three hits Tibalt's on Water Hag. Tibalt's. Oh! <laughs> it happened! Oh, yeah. no. oh, no! This is why you keep all of your party members alive for this one. Oh, this is why you point. save! Oh, no! Both of our runners back. We have an, an, an emoji for this situation. Well, an, an emoji at the very emoji. least, at the very least, he knows he doesn't have to go back for that to, for the adamant rock at the top of tower. Boy, oh boy, uh, the afflicted takes the claims on another victim. Damn. This, this, this wacky can be pretty nasty. Cause, cause, like, you let your guard down. And did a thing. Getting mediod while confused. Such a shame. And yeah, that was instant. As as we were talking about at the beginning of the stream. And I think that's what makes this flag set so fascinating, is because you get something, you see somebody like Water Hag, and you're like, sweet, free boss fight, and then you just medio yourself. Yeah, and it's like... This uh, is what makes this flag set fun to watch. You, you, oh, absolutely. You let your guard down, and you're like, okay, I guess I can't use, like, let my party die, only for Soya matters, I'm just going fast in the free enterprise way, and then you enter a fight, and, and put Soya just, like, destroys himself. So you can't just let your guard down. You need to do the full party so they can throw heal potions and bomb people. Sometimes you just gotta bonk people. What's this little poop? Indeed. And Warlink has successfully gotten the gauntlet. Woo! That would be a good time to make up some space. Yeah, it would be. It's obvious from here, the play is barren. Darkness Crystal is gated behind... barren. Time to grind. I think this is, um... <laughs> well, that's... I, I guess it, it, it's the mission so fast, huh? With this kind of nonsense to deal with. Was Rosa Berserk 2 and got the stone proc? That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yo, hang out, Bahamut Orb. Free, easy. Just gotta not be charmed to cast it. <laughs> and yeah, luckily the summons, be rocky. the summons do fail or just aren't called on the script because they you can't target the party with summons. I don't think. Really <laughs> the, the no, because it'd be too much work to flip the sprite. <laughs> it's funny because it's probably true. Oh my! Here we go again! Oh. oh no! Oh, poor Rosa! You're making it faster? <laughs> Don't make the water hack faster! Okay, we're one third of the way through the script. Gonna make you work for every single one. Oh, Narakad pointing out in chat that uh, Ashra can only target the party. So, I guess... I don't know if you can... Get, um... That, that might require some testing. Yeah, I have no clue on that one. Like, like maybe they just made some no on the orbs. Or just, like... Who knows, really. <laughs> Look at this configuration for this alert. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe it just doesn't work. I would think it just wouldn't work. 
Well, I think it just wouldn't be called. Lockdown. I don't think it'd call at all. Failed to all right. summon. Tibble all through Water Hag finally did not eat another rock to the face. So that's the thing, while the charm is set, it, like. The oh, oh that makes it all worth it right there. Oh, nice. Yo, it's the guy. And he says no to the guy because he's going for reflex rats. Hi, Cecil. See you another day. Maybe Whirlink will come pick you up. Make me rethink all of my reflex strats right there. If the forge had been a good weapon, I'd be I'd have taken him and you know swapped my party over to a melee build. But he didn't even check the forge. I don't think. He I did think before. Yeah, that was did. yeah, Tybalt did before or when he. And there it is. Oh, unforge. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Give me a moment there. This, Who called the 1717 seed? Was that Falgren or was that Alchemy? Alchemy. <laughs> no, I guess we're 17 out of 17. I already rolled it. I, I, always want the I, don't, think, I don't think anyone first. called it. I think someone worried just... us about it. It <laughs> says, this might be. <laughs> oh yeah, I was um, talking about it, but that's just a, a result of high completion K-Main. Is E can't run on? I don't think so. No, I guess Tibal is just uh, more comfortable with the Baron Manip than um, the actual step chart. Yeah, some folks prefer it that way. Oh no, but the manip is like everyone's confused and stuff. <laughs> well, you can still run away, it's fine. Yeah, that's gonna be the fun part about the uh, oh, yeah, the, the D machine, machine is huh? <coughs> oh boy, Hope, hoping <laughs> hoping your your debuff your uh, status ailments for D machine are gonna overly complicate an already dicey grind. See, and, and E-Machines. Uh, uh, like, like, mm. like, what is doing, just like stealing sirens, might be, like, great, because you don't have to deal with nonsense. Okay, actually, for eggs, you do have to deal with nonsense status effects, but if it goes sideways, it's not the worst. Yeah, it's not, it's not as sideways as a uh, team machine going sideways. And so the Though, little whale is raised. Do heal potions work for reflex traps? I, huh? I don't or, or, or not not for reflex traps for um 1200 strats. I think so. I think they do. Don't plug me on it though. They should. Maybe. Very very Camille though. There, Fogran. I was thinking one of them, you know, they start with some hourglasses. It might be worthwhile just to do um, gold dragons in Cave Bahamut, get the 1200 and do Fu and Friends. Yeah, that's two. I love Fu and Friends. Yeah, ultimately, looks like uh, Warlink is done with his Siren grind, so we'll see where he goes from here. I think his only play left is Baron. Oh, as far yeah, as he's yeah. up. I think he stole... Did you catch how many Sirens he stole? Not he really, stole? but he was there for a little while. For a couple minutes, yeah, it looked this... like. this... He might remember that he has um, hourglasses. Because if he was going to do eggs, right he would probably do them right there and then. Oh, yeah. he's grabbing a different party. Enough sirens. Oh. 
Oh, this is a little unfortunate because he's not going to get the Cecil in time. What? The juke? The juke on us? I thought he was oh, he's going. Oh, preserving a slingshot for reflex strats. That's good thinking. And it looks like uh, Tybalt's D machine ailments aren't too bad, unless this is actually a horseman. I know sometimes that's uh, how it works, how it goes. Uh, oh, no, yeah, that's that Berserk. Uh oh. Berserk on a D machine. What are we going to do? Yeah, if you punch a D machine, uh, gonna hope like that. Back, you... right? Yeah, if you do any damage to a D machine, it punches back, That's which is why you. Uh just cast a week on it so that it dies and you don't deal with it. And that's why D-Machine grinds are they're, they're efficient, but they're long. Yeah, as I was saying, in the best of days, there uh, there's a hundred things that can go wrong trying to do it, so throwing something like Berserk on top of it is always going to be fun. To watch. I think we're just tired of the beamers. Hopefully this manip worked and we get to see a wonderful D machine grind that could last a bit. Yo, Tibble with the advanced ideas. There we go. Using a, using a kick. Yes. I also didn't realize that beam could be reflected. Yeah, beam can, laser can't. So th that's kind of dangerous. Because that's scary. The searcher might like destroy some of it before you're done with the grind. Yeah, you just have to. Like, what Tibble needs to do here is get that palum on the floor or use a silver staff, and there he goes. He should be fine from here. Time to have a fun grind. Well, let's see what happens here, because the... Oh, there we go. Still up. Time for We're going to keep up on song. that ground. Uh-oh. Edward just berserked. Tybalt did a mi had a little bit of a misinput there and weaked a uh, target before he was ready, or maybe he realized he hadn't set up an MP glitch. Searcher's weak. It could be something if you accidentally kill it. Or this is just a miniature grind to get up to um, 1200 across the party for Fu and Friends. Fu and Friends is fun. Use the Sylph to keep the, the HP ahead of the curve on, on the fire, which is for HP percentage base, and kill the machine. That's really cool to see. Oh, all right. Looks like that was a misinput. Oh yeah, I we have a stack of ethers. That <laughs> we have the setup. <laughs> it's fine. Old man Fusoya ethers are fun. Ethers so, so he can keep throwing tornadoes at, <laughs> at dragons. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta drink some elixirs. Well, some ethers throw to throw tornadoes. Sometimes throwing tornadoes is fun. But sometimes it's time consuming. Alright, looks like Tipple is settling into the rhythm now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that on Warling on Warling society, Edward is used Berserk every time with every egg. Oh, that he's is, fine. He's having a good that's day. some good luck right there, and I think that's um. So it must be like per encounter. Yeah, he's he's berserk. He, Warling doesn't even yep. need to touch the controller. That's so funny. I'm really fast. Wow. Yeah, that'd be it at this is, point. I've noticed one that one. Rydia, it's all been the same status conditions for each siren. Once again, yeah, it's uh, per Rydia? formation. Yeah, performation, I think. That's really cool, actually. 
I like that. That's nice and efficient. And especially since our spoon word is zerked. Baron yet? Looks like Tibble is all done. Uh, no, he has not, though, but he'll probably he blast through it, it shortly here. Yeah, this is Nuke Nuke White Reflect Strats. He's probably going to swap that Edward out for, um, probably that Sid to use as an anchor going into Zeromus. Yeah, I would imagine either this one or the next one he's going to be all done with. Oh, he could take the Cecil for an anchor. Did did they pick up any uh, Drain Swords or Dwarf Axes? I think... Uh, oh, um, I saw a Drain Spear, but not a sword. Maybe they have it, but I'm not sure. I'm unsure as well. Also, it looks like uh, maybe Tybalt had to take care of something. He's just vibing on the victory screen. He's having a good day. I will be vibing too. There he is. And he's back. Maybe he went for a drink. Nope. Alright. Looks like we're back. Getting good levels for everybody. So once we head to the moon, hopefully hopefully it'll be a nice clean sweep. Yeah, we're seeing cure four on Rosa, which is definitely uh definitely a good stopping point with that Rosa. And rolling is getting close. I, I don't know what the Whirling's like, uh, agility situation is gonna be, because he's just going. Yeah, I think I have to agree with Scarcer. I think he's gonna swap him out. Eventually. And uh, you have all forgot to turn encounters off. Warping. <laughs> Dangerous. Very. Seeing level 60 for Soya, almost. Ooh, looks like uh, Whirlink picked up a couple of ribbons and bought a couple of crystal rings. We love crystal rings. Crystal rings are, yeah, they're the uh, the premier physical defense uh, arm piece. I think they've got very 20 special, points of physical resist, which is more than most anything else. Uh, doesn't the Crystal Gauntlets have more, or is that no? Ah, uh, that's the one thing that it might be more. I don't remember. I'm going to double check yeah, yeah, the, on the gauntlets. wiki. But, but the Crystal Rings should have more magic evader defense, I guess. Which just makes them better, really. <laughs> and also like dragon defense and stuff. Alright, time to see what cave value is going to bring us. Is it value? Probably not. Uh, the crystal gauntlets have 10 points of physical defense and 7 points of magic defense, whereas the crystal ring is 20 and 12, respectively. Wow, it is the best one then. Nice. Yeah, the crystal ring also gives dragon resist. And resistance to three statuses. That's lovely. I didn't even know about, about the, the element resist. That's fun. Not that it matters in this <laughs> flag set, but still. I mean, I I, I don't think we have said it, but uh, of course, status immunities uh, are completely ignored by the uh, afflicted flag. Set. Yeah, they're ignored for the afflicted, but uh, they would, st you know, still be useful if Golbez shows up somewhere. Oh, true, true, true. I believe if you have the pig status and Golbez tries to stop you, it won't work. Yep, if you're piggy toted sized, uh, mini, or no, mini dis sized, uh, poisoned. Yeah, it is. Most uh, most of the statuses have a higher priority than uh, the Paralyze. I saw the Valvalis on, on, on Tupac's screen and I got so confused for like half a second. 
Yeah, Tibble cleaning up the uh, elements fight. Uh, presumably in just taking cave up value. trash. And that is objective number five for Tibbles. And we got a white spear for all the canes we have. Yeah, we I have mean, so if many. If we check the moon character, it could be Kane. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> And here we go again. Okay, did Warling save? I saw him cabin. Warling saved. But what did he save? The when, double when, medio. When did he save? Oh, oh, just just outside of Baron is what I meant. He's gonna knock down Fu. <laughs> yeah. The oh, double. Who's our new character? No. Oh my goodness, that worked out so well. And you called it, it's a one the only, the Kane High Wind. He's not coming in the party, is he? No, I would imagine after all goes. the after all that D machine grind, we're gonna let the lost dragoon stay lost. Poor guy. Maybe he just ventured out into the moon for fun. Maybe he just couldn't get home. We'll never know. Now, what is at our Murrah altar? Oh. Mom bomb. Well, oh fortunately, uh, fortunately, we're already swinging at a blinked Yang. It looks like we have a Berserk Rosa and a Berserk Fu. I mean, I don't think it's it's a problem, really. <laughs> I think it'll be that bad. Oh no, a piggy! What are we gonna do? This water hag has been causing some real big issues this race. This is the worst water hag I've seen before. The uh, the double medio, for sure, definitely uh, throwing some wrenches and plans. It's just funny that both of the racers got hit, got hit by the same nasty trick on the Sid. Oh, I think it was hilarious. I, I just hope that, that our racers also got a big kick out of it. I hope they had a little chuckle, because it's always nice. And down goes Waterhag. And unlike Tibble, Warlink won't need to do a day machine grind. He can just go straight to the moon. There's Cecil. There he goes. Yeah, both runners pretty pretty set now after doing their respective grinds. And it looks like Tibble is going to make it through Mom Bomb fairly successfully at this point. Yeah. That's a nice be. constellation price, Star Destroyed. Yeah, definitely uh definitely not something I would be mad to see, especially with a predominantly caster heavy group. 
And here we go. 1717, March to Zeromus. I'm surprised Tibalt's walking out of the moon. Has Tibalt forgotten he has the pass? Did he go back for it? With, with how his safe oh, was set up, he got it, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. It's it's the adamant he's missing and didn't go back for. Uh, the only thing I can possibly think of is he probably feels like he's too far behind to take the time. Oh! He's going to the ribbon room to finish up his levels for true, for real reflex strats instead of 1200 strats. Gotcha. That does make a lot of sense, actually. And, now and here's Warlink picking up a new anchor, anchor, as I predicted. And it's Sid! Hello, Sid. Welcome to the party, head engineer. See how quickly you hit the floor. Nah, with a curse ring, you don't need to hit nothing. <laughs> with a curse ring, you can hit the gym. <laughs> nice. Ink oh, off. of course, Tibalt. Of course. <laughs> Tibalt, adamants are on. I'm gonna tell. That's what I'm gonna tell him when he gets in here for an interview. If he gets Shout in here out. for an interview. Shout out to Tybalt. We love Tybalt, guys. Hey, can't these pink puffs drop adamant armors for us? Yes. Yep. The the <laughs> it's, it's a 1 in 128. Can you really size them? Oh my god. That's... The more you know. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I usually just uh, toss an hourglass on them and go for the stone cast. Though... Oh, did Tibble not keep a silver staff? <laughs> Berserk pink puff, but tiny. A tiny little Berserk pink puff. I wonder what could go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, yeah we'll just keep Berserking all of them. Shadow He's going for again. life glitches to get nine shots at that roll over, um... The normal five. So I hope you you all like uh, Chocobo music because we're gonna be here a while. Yeah, we are. Wow, did did Hawk just? Proc or something because the music changed. Oh no, this always happens. It goes from normal chocobo to when you're flying. Where does it go to Dwarf Castle? That's not my so, issue. So the musics are supposed to be black chocobo, yellow chocobo, fat chocobo, mycidia. I went to look up how much HP they have. And it's how much HP are we talking? Uh, a, a mere 10k. Which for a, a yeah, different no party would be nothing. wonder why people think pink puffs are so difficult to beat. Maybe as racers, yeah, but... These pink puffs? These are so easy. Look at them. They're mini. Warling through his elements fight. Looks like he's gonna bounce and go hit his last objective. Oh, and there's the big chuckle of music. There we go. It's a good day. One final puff. I wonder if Tibble would get lucky and get another Adam in armor. Not like he needs it. Ah, you never know. 
never say no to another. So much money, too. <laughs> and now your quaint kid nice. is now a new kid, so... Nothing. What more did you want? I don't know armor or two. Uh, there's no more you can want than a new kid. King Ryu's, the gold dragons, whatever you call them. Yep, we looks like we're going to just top off with one more level and then possibly make his way down. Don't mind Kane here. He's not going to be around long. Goodbye, Kane. Warlink doing what I have to do so many times and making sure it's not the Masa altar. It's very easy to confuse Murha and Masa. And that's a Can't mistake you don't want to... Don't want to realize you made when you're all the way down to the bottom of the moon. Yeah. And now we have Nuke on, I believe that's Rydia. Yeah. Did <laughs> Tipbolt get what you need to get uh, Fu up to 28 agility? Not 100% sure if he did or not. Looks He's like he didn't, because he went and checked everyone's agility. See if he had someone at 28. Is Tibble just going straight for the pass? No, he's probably gonna go pick up uh, Curse Ring and Lysidia. Probably also Lysidia. gonna pick up that Sid. Sometimes you just need an anchor. A better anchor. Uh, at this point, he doesn't even need a Curse Ring. He could just go get Sid. Just a normal mom bomb fight over with Warlink. That's yeah, normal. Maybe it'll go a little bit smoother with a nuke palum and a nuke Ridia. Didn't even get to explode. That's the crystal for Warlink, and now it's just uh, erased as Aromas, which Tybalt's got a little bit of a head start on. Yeah, and it looks like Warlink is going to exit out and make his way down to Troya for the pass as well. Doesn't Warlink have more levels than Tybalt? I think they're roughly... I think they're roughly the same, but I know Warlink has his anchor all set up already. Well, there's, I guess, just one last question that we're going to have there tonight. There is. So, with Free Enterprise, we can randomize a lot of things. A lot, a lot of things. Uh, only thing we can't randomize is where Zerubus shows up. Uh, because you don't want to take a big bang in 99% of the spots. So, we randomize what he looks like. And we do have a popular question. And uh, what would that be? 
Whose butt are we kicking tonight? Does it have a hat? Is he cute? Can you pay your taxes? So many, so, such an array of questions we have here. I wish Sarah must go pay my taxes. Who knows? Maybe this is Aromas can. No, it's Aromas who commit tax fraud. Will. I was gonna say, he's evil, it's tax evasion on his... That's true. Dang, I guess I don't want him to, then. <laughs> yeah, oh, I suppose unless... Oh... This Roma's fight isn't quite as bad as Inflicted, because you get the chance to just heal off everything, and his shakes will clear any Berserk you have. Oh, true, huh. Well, that's nice, at least. Little breather. And here we go. After, after What's everything. Who's chucking the crystal? I mean, it could... We could see, um... We're fortunate that there were no charms. <laughs> Because oh, another no. charmed, another charmed foo Asking would have video been disastrous. But that's fun. <laughs> what do you mean? Like that's the most fun thing you can find. <laughs> and here we It'd go. Just be the first one to die to Zero Mist before he transforms. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> you can't get G Flask. Oh, that's a reference that dates me. <laughs> I just, I like, like strong recommendation for everyone to find the uh, the strong bad email compilation on YouTube. It's like a few hours and just put it on the background. It's so good. The website still works in all of its early two thousands glory. Beautiful, bless. But this fight shouldn't be too bad. No, now that all the runners have all their status ailments all squared away, and it looks like everybody's getting everything all set up the way they want it. We are veiled up, I believe. Here yep, we go. Yep, we got the nukes a bouncing, so it's going to come down to basically who's going to roll the higher numbers now. Nerfed, Big Bang? I believe so. I don't think that was a nerfed, Big Bang. It's fine. Oh no, that was nerfed. Just a high roll nerf. Man. Oh, because it took out, um, Sid? Yeah, Sid has no magic defense. Uh, no, he uh happened. he killed Sid before He's been on the floor before the fight started. Oh, okay. Get him out of the turn order. Keep him from messing things up. Mess Keep up him nice rhythm. and cozy. He's just nice and cozy on the floor. He's taking a nice nap. You know, you got to be rested for the potential end of the world. I know, right? So for those of you who have, have never had to really do a full Reflect Strat before, uh, Zero Mist, when you cast magic at him directly, likes to counter with Nuke. Uh, reflecting it back, or reflecting Nukes at him or other spells at him with Wall, bypasses that. It also bypasses the HP refill. <coughs> Nuke and Nukes and Whites galore. And there it goes for Tibble, making it. him our first place winner with an official time of 1.43.12. Let's see if we can get him in for an interview soon. Yeah, GG to him. Well played. And we're joined by Tibble. GG's Tibble. Yeah, GG's. 
Sorry about the GG's. Bug. No, but in the new version, uh, they automatically cut you off, so. <laughs> I think, I think Fu is tired of my stuff. I think uh, Fu wanted to teach you a lesson after you cast a meteor on Demist. That was a misclick. <laughs> Rocks do not taste good. It's not rock candy, okay? <laughs> I'm like, ooh, water hag, this is free. And then Fu starts confused. I'm like, oh no. Oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Whirling Stunned. Amazing, Tibble. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm glad that you're I'm laughing still, about it. I'm still laughing about the Vu casting rocks. Like <laughs> the, the funny thing is, the same exact thing happened to Whirling, too. Uh, oh, no. we, yeah. we had double Fu deciding he was just going to let the, the water hag win. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you, you see a starting deserves. party and you're like, oh no, it's Team 90 HP, what do I do? And then you have Fu lying in the bed, like, okay, this is fine. <laughs> Except all the times it wasn't. Right, yeah. Yeah, you know, when Fu starts that... off being a pig or toad or... <laughs> the best time was uh, the charms. Yeah, of course. Oh. Man. I was sitting there looking for the darkness crystal going on in darkness. Go on, let's go. And could not find it for the life of me. Last location did. It was in Stinky, Stinky Baron all along. Mm hmm. I unfortunately did not get the drop. I am sorry. I tried. <laughs> it's. Adamant armors are on table. It's not the meme in this set. No, it, it still it doesn't matter. Like, you still get the drop. You still get the drop. I mean, yeah, you get the drop. It's nice, but you're not going to shut down the channel getting an adamant drop in a flag set with adamants on. <laughs> well, I didn't shut down when I got an RPG limit break. Well, you can't <laughs> shut down RPG limit break. It's not our <laughs> channel to shut down. <laughs> and adamants were on in that one, too. <laughs> It doesn't change the odds. No, it doesn't change the odds, but it changes the mean. I'll just work harder next time. All right, you just gotta you just gotta get luckier next time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that, I mean, like it wasn't too bad. To be honest, I mean, I've seen worse situations for afflicted. I'll yeah, not, not, not enough charmed medios, honestly. Uh... <laughs> Charm medios, that's that's the thing. It's the new meta, really. Yeah, it, it's great when Palom does it. It seemed fun. He was like, oh, the kid's got some anger issues. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. <laughs> so we were uh, talking uh, in the booth at, at the start, like, okay, so afflicted is song. So like, who do you think brought brought, brought the affliction? Was it uh, Fusoya from like a lunar bug, or was it uh, uh, Ridia from like kid, like you know, Im immune system? Well, I just, see the problem that I also ran into is like, yeah, you have the pigs. It's great, fine. I'll just have you know like zerkers. I'll, I'll couldn't find them. And by the end, you've got, okay, cool, I'm getting all these Zerk afflictions, and, well, I'm not running Zerk, so stop! I mean, I can deal with Charm or Toad. Like, I can handle those. Uh, but it's just at the beginning, it wanted to give you all Zerking for the affliction. And there's really no way to pre prevent it except for, like, Crystal Armor. What? I think that's everything question-wise for me. Anyone else have uh, something they want to rack to balls brain about? No, we I do not. Covered, covered about all I had questions. Uh, you know, like you said, the uh, the char media was unfortunate, but meme worthy at least. Oh, yes, that is as a clippable moment, and that is just. Well, I mean, I had another thing that very few people have done, so you know, just another one to add to my list. 
Yeah, uh, I think this uh, teaches you to go into, you know, ha always have a full living party on Afflicted and maybe save a little more. Yeah, maybe save. That, that might be a good idea. I don't know, I'm still learning on the saving thing. <laughs> I mean, I would have gone to the same thing, been like, yeah, water hack, great, it'd be easy. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Alright, well, GG's. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll uh, see y'all next time. Make sure you know the have, a, have a good day, Tibalt. Yep. Bye! So, Warning is not going to be joining us for an interview because of uh, mic issues, but I'm going to roll the wheel of the wacky. In case folks want to uh -oh. stick around for a few seconds longer. that mean okay so unstuck well always... you'll have to run a scene and find out <laughs> <laughs> well yeah but but unstuckable means that um ed items cannot be stacked so if you have two heal potions they will just occupy two places in the in the inventory instead of stacking into two heal potion stack oh the it... inventory boss shall strike again indeed that's the idea many times Indeed. Okay, so that's it, folks, and thanks around for for sticking around. We're gonna be uh, reading uh, Pasta Morpheus, community member. Bye. -bye.